This is the Baker Man 2016 Baker Man amplifier, the Baker Man brake amp. We raffled this off on Facebook and we got a small fortune for it. This is the amp that's been through four different owners since I sold it to the guy on Facebook. The guy on Facebook took it and uh, ran it and ran it pretty good. And he called me about four days after he'd owned it and says, man, the power's dropped off by half. And I said, well, what were you seeing out of it? And he goes, 3,200 watts. And I'm like, holy smokes, Batman. 3,200? I said, how much were you hitting it with? He goes, oh, a two pill. You can't hit these amps this hard. It's, he goes, it's just a 220, 290s. Hitting four transistors is a four pill, right? And I'm like, no. I stress this in every video. I talk about this in every 50 volt bipolar transistor video. Because the voltage is so much higher on the transistors, they don't require as much drive. The, about the only thing I found that'll burn these up is that you overdrive them. They're pretty tough parts, man. But that's not Chad's problem. Chad wanted a BBI amp and he was looking all over the flipping place for it. And he called everybody and these things come out of here real slow there's only one of me to build and do the phones and order everything and take care of all the shipping and the business and everything so they're pretty hard to find well when this hit ebay the original owner put it on ebay and sold it and stated that it had been here to be repaired which it never had been so he sold it to the the first owner first owner or the second owner and the second owner called me after he bought it on ebay and i said man as far as i know that amp's all blown up the guy that had it burn it up. Oh, it says it's been to you to be repaired. I said, that amp's never been back here. Well, the second owner goes and relists it on eBay, but the first seller had ripped the amp number off of this thing, 1446 four pill. He'd ripped the sticker off the front, so he had no way to track it. Well, <clears throat> the third owner that bought it, same thing happened, calls me. I say, hey, it's blown up as far as I know. He gets it, he calls me, oh yeah, this thing's all blown up, I'm going to send it to you. Never heard of nothing from him. So Chad calls me and says, man, I bought this thing from a guy here off of eBay. He's just a couple states away. I said, well, what would you pay for it? He told me, and I was like, oof. And I said, it's pretty burnt up. And I said, but still, you're into it cheaper than what it would cost to get it built new. I said, send it up here. I'll put it on the fast track of things to get repaired. So it's been here for about three weeks now, four weeks now, about a month. And Chad, I went through it. This guy overdrove this transistor so hard. Look at that. That's the inside of that transistor, and that's the top portion of the lid. So that's the inside piece. That's the top portion, right? Sent this thing into orbit, so it was smacking around loose on the inside of the cabinet. Well. His partner transistors also burned up and went bad. Now, each one of these transistors are about $120 a piece. And of course, the combining balance resistor, which sucks up the difference between amplifier A and amplifier B, it was smoked. So, Chad, we put two new transistors in the box. And then I got this going thinking, okay, I'm just going to pump it right back out the door to him. Well, he calls me and says, man, I want you to add sideband to it. And I said, okay. So Chad, if you look down in here, you see them big bias resistors. I had to yet add another 12 volt supply just to run the bias. And we got that installed for you yesterday. This is your sideband delay switch. 
And all this does is it activates a little bit of a capacitor on the relay to keep the relay from chattering in between your words. And you want it to just hold the relay, let's go one, two, three, four, click, five, six, seven, eight, click. Because you don't want it to go one click, two click, three click, four, five, and in between each word. That's all that does. But this thing is fully class B. I gotta change that. Hold on, I gotta change it right now. See, it says class C on the front, doesn't it? Yep. Class B for Sightman. Yeah, I got a label right. <sighs> All right. Sideband delays off. Let's go around the loop. Now, because this thing is biased for Sideband, means it's going to put out a little bit more power. It's a little bit more sensitive to input drive. We're going to use the Striker 955. We're going to put the 5 watt slug between the 955 and the amplifier to represent input tune. We're going to have 5 watt slug in reverse back from the Bird 10,000 watt dummy load. 1000 watt slug in average and 1000 watt slug in 2x position reading in PEP mode. So we all know right there's a thousand fully deflected is two grand. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's put this puppy in standby. It's talking through the box. Make this so everybody can understand it. We're gonna put it in 1x, so it's reading face value. Hello, audio. Whole scooch in 80 watts of drive. If you don't overdrive this, it'll last you forever. If you overdrive it, it's gonna go poof and go up in smoke. So you be, be nice to it, and it'll be nice to you, and it'll last forever. Hello. Audio. A whopping 80 watts of drive. Okay, we'll flip the operator switch. And we're dead keying about 5 watts. And that 5 watt dead key gets you right about a 40 watt carrier. We're nailing it over in a corner pretty hard. But that's with 80 watts of drive. Now this thing's designed to operate at about 2,100 to 2,300 watts. Basically the same amount of power as an SP220 or something like that. But it's super light and it's made with modern transistors. Okay, we're gonna go over here to the 5X. see that we're peaking at about 2100 and we're getting about 700 bird out of this thing. So that's straightforward. Let's look at our input tune. Flat as a doornail. Chad, have fun, man. Enjoy this girl. She's been around the country. She's got more air miles on her than most, uh, well, most airline stewardesses. Don't overdrive it. Just don't overdrive it. And I know you've been listening to me because you got your radio set up by truck at Truck CV Sales, and it's not going to overdrive this thing. You're right, tight, and ready to go. Gentlemen, my name is BBI. Without a shadow of a doubt, I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. I don't get to be here and doing this cool ass shit without all of you. And I say thank you. On to the next one. I'll see ya. <laughs>